Hey, I was at the beach just the other day with my children and we were looking at the sand and the water and the shells. And so we picked up some shells. This one, I remember from being a child, this is called a lady slipper. I used to look at shells and I had a little book that told me what they meant. And then this one, I don't know what it's called, but isn't that pretty, a really pretty pattern. My daughter brought this one and I thought it was pretty, but it has barnacles on the back. It's a little bit cracked, but whatever. This one's pretty. I love the colors on shells. I love the shapes of them. This one is pink and white. And even the inside has this beautiful color. Sometimes they even look like a sunset to me. But you know what I noticed about myself when I looked at shells was I am attracted to the shells that look perfect. This one, you know, if you look at it, it has a little tiny crack in the side. This would probably be one that I might not keep. This one looks very much like this shell. They're probably the same kind, but it's missing a whole part. This one is very similar shape, but look, this whole piece got cut out. And I don't know what happened to it, but it's just not as cute. This shell actually has another shell stuck to it. This one, what a pretty little shell, but look, it has holes. I'm attracted to the shells that have no problems. I'm attracted to the shells that are perfect. I'm attracted to the shells that look symmetrical, don't have holes and don't have cracks. And I started thinking about that and thinking about teaching our kids about God and about how he views us. And if we were seashells on the beach, would he go only for the ones that were perfect and beautiful and colored? Or would he go for the shells that were stuck together and a little misshapen? Would he go for the shells that have holes right in the middle? Would he go for the shells that aren't even whole? They're just a piece of a shell that once was. And it made me think about things with myself. You know, sometimes I struggle with body image, not sure about you, maybe you do. If it's not a body image issue, you might struggle with some self image issue. But it's so important as we teach our kids about God and about them as they grow up that we are helping them to find their beauty in Jesus and in who they are as Christians. You know, it's not important, my mom always said to me, my dad, it's not important what you look like on the outside, it's important about what's on the inside. But what if the inside has barnacles, like that one shell that I showed you? What if the inside has, you know, yucky spots? What if you feel like that on the inside? Does God still love you? Yes, he does. What if you do look perfect on the outside? Things are so great, but there's a little chip missing. Does God still love you? Absolutely he does. What if you feel like this, completely broken, missing pieces of yourself? Does God still love you? Yes, he does. And so I think that's an important lesson. If you're on the beach with your kids looking at shells, not just to pick up the beautiful shells, but if you do pick up the beautiful shells, talk about how they're so beautiful. But you know what? It's all on the outside. Who knows what happened? But the ones that, you know, have this is a great looking shell, but it's missing a piece and it has a hole and it has barnacles. I wonder what happened to this shell. And bring that into human life. So we have things that happen to us that might make us feel dirty or feel yucky or feel not whole. But no matter what, we have value in God. So as you're teaching your children about God and teaching them the value that they have because they're children of God, remember not to just point to the outside, oh, look how beautiful this shell is, or even say to your child, you're so beautiful, you're so pretty, you're so this, you're so that, or to point out the negative side, oh, you're gaining a little weight, or that shirt's too tight on you, or you need to brush your hair. We need to not focus on the outside like we do with shells. We also need to focus on the inside, talk about the inner beauty that they have. We don't know what people have been through. We know maybe more of what our children have been through, but we're not with them every second of every day. So we don't know what they're feeling like inside, whether they feel broken or like they have holes or like there are pieces inside of them that are yucky and ugly. We need to help repair that, whatever it takes, talking to them about it, taking them to counseling, whatever. We also need to teach our kids that it's perfectly okay to talk about the good things in people and not point out all their flaws. And so when you're walking on the beach with your kids, pick up some shells and talk about, whoa, that's really pretty. Look at this one, how pretty it is. Oh, it has a hole. It looks a little broken, but I like it anyway. I think I might keep it. When you're teaching your kids about God, teach them about the value that they have in Him. 